Guys, before you return your Surface Pro X and read all the mixed reviews, a very crucial update just came out yesterday that everyone missed. And this one update can really save and elevate your experience with the Surface Pro, the Windows on ARM device. I'm Sean over at Team Xbox at Microsoft and this review is strictly my own. I'm not on the Surface Pro team but I've just found ways to optimize this device that can really elevate your user experience. And what I'm talking about is the Edge experience partnered with Google to bring Chromium builds to the Edge browser experience. And if you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about downloading Microsoft Edge Canary, the optimized version of Windows on ARM, the ARM64 optimized web browser on the Surface Pro X. And my God, it works like butter. And this can really change how the reviewers interact with this device. Now, first and foremost, when reviewing the Pro X, yes, it's a complete redesign, but most of the frustrations came with the app compatibility and the speed and emulating times 86. So applications like Google Chrome, so essential to the web browsing experience, even Microsoft's own Edge before opting to the beta were all emulated. And that led to slower processing times, kind of hiccups in sign of the interactions and the loading your websites. Download right now. If you haven't downloaded it right now, Microsoft Edge Canary build, go ahead Bing, go ahead Google that, get in the daily builds and natively, right when you download it, the Surface Pro X is, finally has the native Canary browser right here and that features the new Edge logo. And what happens then, you're gonna see, it's the equivalent of running Safari on an iPad Pro. And you're gonna see that this will change the way you interact with it because you can do multiple things, not only browsing smoother and interacting with YouTube or reading your favorite sites and having them load lightning fast, but there are interactions and ways you can make those apps that when you interact and press the start button right here, you can see I have apps like Disney Plus, YouTube, my favorite websites that are separate entries that are treated like apps so that it's masked. And if you see here, I have the Disney Plus app running on Surface Pro X and look how fast that is. This isn't even a native app on the web store. It's using the Chromium Canary build on Edge, the beta channel that's only accessible right now for Surface Pro X users. It'll change the way you interact with it. So let's dive into our full review of the Pro X and let's go into what everybody else missing their reviews and why they're hammering so hard as to why they feel like Windows on ARM is a hiccup. Now there are some frustrations with this device in terms of the hardware that comes into it and some of the multitasking feature sets, but guys, getting that optimized ARM browser changes everything. Let's go into this. We have the Surface Pro X here, which I feel is the most misunderstood device of 2019. Windows on ARM was a mission to get the efficiency of mobile chips into the mainstream. It's because of the iPad over here. This iPad has, has blazing fast speeds, super long battery life, high efficiency, LTE connectivity, and in many ways it blasts in terms of speed faster than the la most of the laptop market, even some MacBook. And there's even conversations to bring MacBook OS onto ARM. You can Google all the rumors there of how the Apple is trying to bring the Mac ecosystem onto the ARM chip, whereas they've already perfected it on the iPad OS. So why does the iPad run so fast on an ARM chip in such a small form factor? It's almost the holy grail bringing an efficient, productive operating system on the mobile front. And that's why Windows on ARM has been so exciting because the, for the first time, Ever, we have the Surface Pro X or a mainstream device that can run Windows on ARM. So the important thing for the reviewers who have this is to level set that the, the Pro X is running on a mobile chip like the iPad Pro here. And the goal ideally is to get apps that run as fast, as efficiently as web browsing um, on the iPad or, or video consumption on the iPad here, how enjoyable it is and bring those best and the mobile benefits onto Windows on ARM, and they did it, except for the fact that they added even more compatibility times 86 apps to, under, to bring the legacy of Windows apps onto the Surface Pro X. 
So a lot of reviewers, to their defense, they didn't release the Canary build. If you haven't downloaded the Canary build, it is an ARM64 optimized Chromium Edge browser, right, in partnership with Google and Microsoft that runs efficiently and optimized on the ARM chip. And it is like butter, it is lightning fast. Your interactions with mobile computing devices, I don't care what they are, they could be the Fold here, it could be the iPad, it could be the Surface Pro, it could be Intel chips, you're always running web browsers. And let's just say the king of web browsers is Chrome and you always go and check your emails or Google, um, YouTube, and, and do all your searches, or you go on Wikipedia or Reddit, and 90% of what you do on a mobile computing device is based out of the web browser. When I launch Edge here, you can see the differences in the speed of native Edge, like that is ARM64 optimized, this Canary beta that's out, or the Edge that came emulated when this device first launched. And that's where all the trouble the reviewers said, that the compatibility, the, the web browsing was kind of slow. If they were running this ARM64 build, they'd realize that it is so fluid, so fast. You see how lightning fast this is? It supports extensions like Adblock, the best things of Chrome, optimized ARM64. You can bring uBlock or Adblock Origin onto there, the main extension, and you can pin your websites to run and be pinned into the main task, uh, task bar over here or start menu as apps. So Disney Plus just launched. Do you think Disney Plus will be in the Microsoft Store? Let's talk apps. All of your web interactions or applications have some form or function online, albeit social media apps like Snapchat and Instagram. Banking, video browsing, your Netflix, your Prime Now, your Disney Plus. Oh no, they're not gonna be on this Windows Store, but they are accessible via Edge. I can show you right here. You can go ahead and press the Start button, and I have Disney Plus as a logo right there, and just like that, because of the way they optimize it, you can pin websites and make them run, just running ARM, 64 optimized, and there you go, I can start playing the Mandalorian right away, and how fast is that, all right? Not, not, not a hiccup at all. I would say it's, it's a very, easy experience there. We have Disney Plus running off the beautiful speakers off the hardware. If you reshape the way you interact and think about what this device is supposed to be, you are going to have a much better time and a much more positive experience. I've seen headlines everywhere. Heartbreak, it's a premium device, it's not worth it. Look at this image quality here. This is the Disney Plus app. It's running on optimized ARM Chrome and it's super fast, super fluid. Now, I did a comparison between the iPad Pro and the Surface Pro X, which is for you. And I said the reason the Pro comes out ahead in many cases is because it's optimized. Well, optimized Edge browser is here. If we build ARM64 apps, optimized apps, and Edge and Firefox is, version is coming out, think of all the apps that you use. You banking, video browsing, um, reading or research, you can pin those and make those as apps, and you will have a very fluid, an enjoyable experience on the Surface Pro X while getting the benefits like longer battery life and LTE connectivity along with the beautiful hardware design that they included on here. There are still some shortcomings with Surface Pro X. It's not infallible. In many ways, the Windows ecosystem, because you're emulating a lot of 86 times 86 apps, um, it does slow down the system and sometimes I've had frustrations with things like multitasking. So if you notice here, I'm gonna swipe from this section and it's not that smooth in terms of bringing up these multi Sam running Spotify or once I'm starting to run multiple apps, it starts to, to weigh down and get kind of slow. The fact that this Windows on ARM can still run full-fledged times 86 emulated Chrome, it can still run full-fledged Steam, albeit some games won't render well, but the full client Steam. There's no way you can install Steam on here. There's no way you can install Steam on here. These are all mobile chips. How the heck does Steam run on here? The fact that the Pro X can run times 86 apps and emulate them, albeit a little slow, is amazing in itself. So people go into this device thinking that it's a native Windows Intel architecture, what they're used to, and they get disappointed, right? Because they expect it to run normally. And that's what the strengths of the regular Surface Pro 7 is. But if the Surface Pro X was messaged differently in terms of saying, here, this is a mobile chip, it runs full Windows, 
It's best with optimized for ARM apps, and we still give you the benefit of all your legacy apps that you like, that run times 86. That communication, like, that's fantastic. There, there's no way you can get full-fledged, um, full suite of like Photoshop or anything like that on these devices, and they're getting there to their defense. They're building optimized apps for it. The Surface Rooks can run it slowly, but full Photoshop, and there's been efforts to bring that more efficiently, but it's still Windows, it still has a legacy compatibility, so the Surface Pro X or Windows on ARM is able to emulate that compatibility. Productivity, right? All your accessories, all the legacies of compatibility of Windows comes with the Windows Pro um, X here. And as I said, this thing, in terms of productivity, smokes these two devices because of keyboards and driver, USB-C here, but running two 4K displays at 60 hertz from one of these USB-C drives. That's amazing in itself. Do you think this Snapdragon 855 and this Galaxy Fold here can power two 4K monitors, right? The iPad here in terms of mirroring doesn't do that efficiently at all either. It mirrors and can power one, only has one port. This is Windows. You can snap your different applications onto them, a multi-monitor setup, and boom, and you're running it on a Snapdragon 8CX or SQ1 chip. And people get upset that they expect it to work when it doesn't. And I think that's a fair point to be frustrated, but I feel like it's miscommunication of mismatched expectations. If you were to just amplify using the Edge Canary build and getting your apps on here, this would be a much more bleeding edge experience. The keyboard, the pen, the placements of the kickstand, the thinner bezels, the larger screen, these are amazing positives. Do you disagree that the hardware on this is great, right? The hardware and design is fantastic. Play where you can download optimized apps through UWP, through the Microsoft Store, and even then, when it's not there, you have an additional option now to go to Microsoft Edge, the Canary build, wait for the ARM64 release, and amplify anything that you want on the web that will get you there. I guarantee you that you web browse and video watch 90% of the time or, or write emails, and this is perfect for that. The Office Suite is optimized, and now Edge is, and most of your use cases will go from there. Now, as for gaming, totally fair. This is not a good gaming device. The iPad Pro can kind of smoke this in gaming too because it has optimized games for it, and there's a lot of miscommunication in the Microsoft Store and the experience of game on here. This is not a gaming device. That's a fair criticism. Please do me a favor. When you look at the Surface Pro X um, reviews, ask yourself, were they running Chrome ARM64 optimized? Were they running Firefox? Were they running Edge itself, right? The only way to get this access is if you're downloading that beta and that will change everything. Okay guys, this serves as our Surface Pro X review, the most misunderstood device of 2019. What do you guys think about the speed and efficiency increases about the edge on ARM and the future of ARM optimized apps? Have you tested it out yourself? And what do you think about the reviewers who missed out on this before calling their experiences on the Surface Pro X and returning it? Other things like the replaceable SSD, go ahead and check those out in my other videos. Otherwise, this is a great hardware Surface Pro X device, misunderstood about the operating system, trying to reach the efficiency of the iPad Pro and the Qualcomm chips. All right, guys, thank you for supporting the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.